what's happening, it's Saz here. So today is another little Sazzle Camp vloggity vlog vlog thing. Just a quick one to let you know what's been happening. So firstly, quick pet update. <laughs> uh, all pets seem to be doing okay. Thank God, <laughs> they're all doing good. Um, Dick's in a bit fussy with his salad. Still trying to get through that, but we're getting there slowly but surely. But he's seems to be doing a lot better. Beta is all good. Um, I kind of did a clean out, a proper deep clean of their vivs. I've got some footage that I started to do of Dixon's viv, so I will either split the screen or put it in here. Uh, not a lot, but and then I can show you a picture of the viv when it's redone. Um, to be honest, I'm not really a fan, personally, I'm not really a fan of like tile or anything like that as a substrate. Um, but at the moment, because Dixon, if you did or did not know, um, had to take Dixon to the vet because he had some sort of pinworm, um, some sort of parasite, so we had to get that sorted. And in the meantime, while we're checking him, making sure he's okay, I had to clean out the whole viv and down by part of the viv, um, I'll put a picture in here if I haven't already, I've put slate uh, placemats so I put them in hot water uh, disinfected them and everything like that so just for the time being while we're still checking to make sure everything's okay if you catch my drift um, it's more easier for me to clean that way than having the loose substrate and trying to have to deep clean that little section so so it's part tile part beardy life substrate that's the substrate that I use Anywho, I am going on, but yeah, cleaned out both of the reptiles this week. So they've got their brand spanking new vivs. And of course, the minute I put them back in and cleaned it, they decided to poop. Lovely. <laughs> that's the thing with loose substrate. It is a bit of a bugger to clean, but I just feel like that's more imitating their natural environment. I mean, if, you're, if you've got animals in captivity, you're never going to get their natural environment. Uh, so, yes, cleaned out both of the reptiles. Um, I didn't really get any footage of me cleaning out Beta's tank. Uh, or Beta's viv, sorry. And Dougie Pug, he's down here. Oh, you're going to come and say hello. Say hello, YouTube. <laughs> how are you doing? You going to tell everyone how you been? Yeah? You eat, sleep, poop, repeat. That's what you're doing, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I love him so much. My little baby. But yes, all the pets seem to be doing well, which is all good, isn't it? We like it when you're all healthy and happy. Go on then. So, moving on. Uh, what else has been happening? Uh, Monday wasn't great for me. I uh, ended up in A&E. Hey, hey. Um, I'm not going to get too much into it. Um, but yeah, I had a bit of trouble at home and with various things. Um, part of what happens, um, sometimes I come out of a non-epileptic seizure and my legs go rigid. And that's not fun, because it hurts like a bitch. <laughs> um, so, unfortunately, we had to call for our good friends, the paramedics, and eventually they, well, Scott actually helped uh, release my legs. And eventually they did have to take me in. Um, bit amusing that I scared, I think I scared the shit out of uh, <laughs> some of the paramedics, um, because they, they hadn't seen anything like it before. Um, so yeah, that was quite fun. <laughs> but yes, and this, again, it's not a sob story or anything. It's just what's been happening with me this week. Um, so yes, got my bridesmaids coming down this weekend, um, which I cannot wait. Ah, oh, I cannot wait. It's just so nice that we can all get together. And uh, yeah, they've got a dress fitting. So everything's getting well underway. And yeah, I just can't wait to see them. So... Yeah, it should be really good fun. Also, moving on, I cannot, what would an update video be without talking about The Walking Dead? Oh my god! 
<laughs> oh, this week's episode was awesome. I loved this week's episode. Firstly, I said it in my reaction video. Oh, Ezekiel. No, they can't do that to Ezekiel, man. I really hope he's gonna be okay or something. But no, I love Ezekiel. I really resonated with his character quite early on. Just for the whole thing of, he puts on this big show, you know, like, yes, everything's fine. Yeah, it might be going to shit in the background, but, and yet I smile, I've got a tattoo, and yet I smile. Um, you know, so he puts on this, this big persona, yes, everything's fine, um, which I kind of do <laughs> in real life. I'm like, yeah, don't worry about me. Yeah, I'm fine, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. So I kind of connected with this character pretty much from the off. <laughs> um, apart from never owning a tiger, I haven't done that. I'm, I wasn't a zookeeper, so I can't relate to that. <laughs> um, mind you, I'm getting a bit of a mini zoo. <laughs> I've got three, three pets. <laughs> so I'm getting there. Oh, no, I just... No, I can't lose Ezekiel. Oh, that's gonna break my heart. No, do not like that one bit. Also, what I wanted to mention is when Sadiq was on the radio talking to Dante, asking if Rosita's okay, and Dante said she caught the flu or something like that. That's not good. Sorry, sorry if you can hear Doug. He is deciding he wants to eat right now. Uh, so he's behind the camera, so I apologize if you can hear him. But I'm thinking when we saw Gamma slicing and dicing those walkers, and putting the walker guts and everything into the water. Is that water now contaminated? And has Rodita drunk that water? That's not good, do not like that. So yeah, that's, because why would he have said that over the radio if it wasn't a point to look out for? Do you know what I mean? So I was like, hmm, that's definitely one to look out for. Connie and Daryl, bless. <laughs> I've always said that I can't really see Daryl with anyone. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of the mystery of Daryl Dixon, you know. <laughs> but I just love, loved the moment where he was kind of telling Connie about Merle and stuff like that. And that was a really sweet moment. And the fact he's learning more sign language and, oh, and their family. I really like that. That was a really cute moment. I wouldn't be angry if anything came to that, but I don't know, I just, I mean, good on you, Daryl. You know, you do you, boo. But <laughs> it kind of takes away the whole mystery of Daryl, you know. Everyone's like, any woman he talks to, yes, ship them, ship them. <laughs> Whereas I'm kind of like, no, I just kind of, I don't know, I just can't see Daryl with, with anyone really. But it'd be kind of cool. I wouldn't be mad. Hashtag Donny. <laughs> Negan! Oh, Negan! <laughs> so glad to see more of Negan. He's finally free. And that fanboy bitch, Brandon. Oh my God. Now don't get me wrong, the actor who played Brandon was perfect. Absolutely brilliant because he made me hate his character so much. <laughs> and if you have seen my reaction, I did get a bit OTT. I apologize, but I told you I get way too involved. It is a genuine reaction and I get way too involved. Um, yes, I am a Negan fan. I have been since uh, Negan joined the show. I do read the comics, so I am a, a Negan comic fan. Because, <clears throat> let's face it, he's really, really funny in the comic. And I love that. I think it was the fact that Negan was telling Milo, I think, was that his name, Milo? About <laughs> giving him a, a whole talk on nut tapping and what he's gonna miss. <laughs> <laughs> which was just hilarious in itself. But I think the fact that when Negan was saying to him that I know a place that's gonna take you in and all that, and then Brandon goes and kills them, no. I mean, Negan even said, I mean, Brandon wasn't even worthy to talk about Rick and Carl. Nah, bitch, you don't have the right. <laughs> but even if you knew, if you were such a fan of Negan, I suppose he's been told stories from other people when it's just word of mouth, isn't it? So you're never gonna get the true answer until you speak to them in person, you know? 
But even the fact that Negan said, I would never hurt a kid, to then Brandon thinking it's some big test or something. I am Negan! Um, and yeah, and then he goes and kills him. That was not cool. That really... Ooh. Mmm, that really got to me. Nah. And then finally, Negan got rid of Brandon. Most satisfying death. Oh my God, I was so happy. Ooh, your girl needs to chill. I'm good now. But yeah, I needed to chill after that. So yes, that was just a little update this week. Not a lot has been going on with me. Um, but of course, got to talk about The Walking Dead, obviously. Um, just quickly, I was very grateful to be in the Skybound reaction this week. So thank you so much, Skybound. It really does mean a lot. Um, okay, I'm only in one little clip, but hey, I made it. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so I will link that video either below or somewhere around here if you did want to go and check it out. And another shout out to everyone that joined me on my live stream again this week. I'm really enjoying the live streams. And again, I will be doing one this Sunday at 8 p.m. UK time. So if you are around, then why not join us again and I can talk to you in real time. So I'm gonna leave it there for now, guys. If you did enjoy this video, then please remember to give it a big thumbs up. That would really help me out a lot. And if you are liking the videos and you want to stick around, then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to find out when I do more of these videos. And if you would like to continue to help support the channel just a little bit, then I am on Patreon. Come on over, we've got my older reactions from The Walking Dead, bonus videos, bloopers and all that fun stuff. And a quick shout out to my Patreons, Team Rick. Thank you ever so much for joining me on Patreon and to everyone else that has joined. And I'll see you Sunday, 8 p.m. UK time for my live stream. So I'm going to leave it there for now, guys. And until next time, check you later.